Now we are joined by Nilofar Romani, the first female pilot in the Afghan Air Force after the fall of the Taliban in 2001. She was awarded the State Department's International Women of Courage Award in 2015 and granted asylum in the U.S. in 2018. Nilofar, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. ABC News has obtained some really heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching audio recordings from English-speaking Afghans, including Afghan Air Force pilots, pleading for help with some reports describing them as so desperate that they're flying across the border to other countries to escape on their own. What are you hearing from your Afghan Air Force colleagues who remain in the country? Well, it's definitely um, during this one week, my heart is so much in pain, entire my body, you know, I just, I can't express how bad I feel because I exactly know how those people are going through, the pilots, the, the women, and all those people that they left behind and they have no security and they are afraid for their future. They know what their future is going to look like, you know, past 9-11. Those people lived under this government, under the government of the Taliban. And if the Taliban were so great, why everybody is so afraid of their life? Why they're running away? And uh, I really wish that I'm trying my best to see if I can help as much as I can. And watching the videos, watching the life of, you know, so many people that they're reaching out, they're sending me videos. And it just breaks my heart. My heart bleeds just even looking at them. And I can't stop my tears. And it's just like so much pain uh, to see what my country and my people are going through right now. And you served as an inspiration to so many other Afghan women and girls as the country's first female Air Force pilot. Seeing the images that we're seeing now that you just described, thousands stranded there and hundreds of others now going to other countries where they have no true home. What's your message to them? Well, all I can say is I understand their pain. Just stay strong. They have, if they don't have any support, you know, they just have to save their life because I'm just really concerned for their life. And if they can reach me out any way I can help them, they can reach me out any way they could. I will be, um, you know, I will answer them and help them. And I don't want to see any of them to be the victim or be killed by the Taliban for what they have done just because they wear the uniform and serve their country. Because that's what I had to go through as a woman, just wear the uniform and fly from my country and try to bring freedom and a voice for a woman. And I was the victim. I was a target by the Taliban. And I, they wanted to kill me just for what I have done. So I know what they're going through. And uh, I would do my best, anything I can, to help them. Is it possible at all that the Taliban has changed? Because officials have said that they'll honor women's rights according to Islamic law, as you know. But many Afghan women still fear that they will not keep this promise. You've previously said that the Taliban will hurt women the most. Have they shown any signs to you of changing and, and perhaps being less oppressive? If the entire world gonna believe them and they changed, I would be the last person that I changed my mind and my heart to say they changed. You know, I am an Afghan. I lived on that law and rules. I know what they do to a woman. I have seen my own mother get beat up. I have seen the girls that been taken away. I have seen the harsh videos, what they do. If they, you know, they have proven themselves to the world. They did prove themselves. And there hasn't been anything that we look bad. There hasn't been anything good that it will get the world or anybody to believe they have changed. And you have said that even for your own family, your parents have been in danger and targeted by the Taliban just for supporting you throughout your career. Talk a bit about being a woman in a male-dominated arena and the added dangers that women face. It wasn't easy for me. I had to break so many barriers. If it comes to the society, if it comes to my own family, if it, ha it has to do with the Taliban, because the Taliban, they, as I mentioned before, their whole war is against women. The men does not get hurt by the Taliban law and government. It's only women. We, I look back and it's already, there's no sign of women in the city. They all disappeared. And they are, I see the videos that they're sending me, that they're crying, that I am afraid what the world, you know, my future is going to look like because they know it's gonna be bad. What's been your reaction to President Biden and other top officials blaming the rapid fall of Afghanistan on what they see as the Afghan military's unwillingness to step up and fight? 
this was actually, it really made me upset. You know, I'm not saying the world should have stayed in Afghanistan forever. What I'm saying is how the world allowed this happen again, you know? We had a very harsh accident, the 9-11, how the world would let this happen again, how they would let entire Afghanistan to be taken by the people that they have proven themselves and they hurt the world and Afghanistan before. And I just speechless. I can't not say and why and what. All I can say is the Afghan soldiers, the Afghan army, the Afghan Air Force, they all fought when there was a time that they 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 thought they had a support. They had a support, they had a, everything that they needed it. They would go, we have lost so many lives as well. During this 20 years, how many lives, American lives was lost? How many trillion dollars has been spent in Afghanistan? How much money was spent to bring freedom to Afghanistan, to a woman in Afghanistan? How easy they just handed it to Taliban. I would just ask the world kindly that they have to put a pressure in Pakistan because the Pakistan is, you know, whatever game is they're playing right now, it's hurting those little girls, little kids in Afghanistan that um, they, are, they are innocent and they have to stop this. So would that be the message if you had an opportunity to speak directly to President Biden at this point as far as advice to be able to uh, suggest to him how to move forward with the Taliban? Absolutely, because as an Afghan, I would not be the only person who would say that. Entire Afghan people know that, that who support Taliban. Why the Taliban are so strong? Why they have everything they have? Who support them? Who's behind that? You know, where's their main main base that they get so strong? And this will be the Pakistan. And I would ask not only President Biden, I would ask entire leaders of the world, the UN, that they stop Pakistan for what they are doing. And I would like to say, you know, everybody in the world that please open your borders for Afghans that they really in need. You know, Humanity, humanity costs nothing, but it means everything to the world. And I would just ask them that please be open and kind to all those Afghans that they need them. They just open their borders for them. Because if they knew their life is going to be peaceful in Afghanistan and they would have everything they want, we wouldn't be witness of watching in the news what they are doing. They are ready to throw their kids over the walls for American soldiers but not to keep it. Why? What does that mean? It means they're worried about the future of their kids. They want to hand it to someone that they don't know where that kid is going to go, but they just don't want them to live under that government. This has to be the sign how terrified people in Afghanistan are. Nilufar Romani, we thank you so much for talking with us tonight. Thank you. Pleasure is mine. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.